G'day, I'm Charlie and this is the news that you need to know for today. Starting with news across the nation, where the Prime Minister is expected to break an election promise in next week's budget by ditching the private health insurance rebate for middle to high income earners. Now moving on to the unemployment rates, which, is, which have surprisingly dropped this month. However, criticism remains over whether it's a true reflection of an improving economy or whether it simply boils down to a case of statistical sampling error. Moving now to Telstra, who has employed a new CEO in David Thody. And this latest move has been seen as an attempt to try and improve relations with the government especially in light of the uh, recent National Broadband Network project. Now to sports, where former NRL star Matthew Johns is facing renewed criticism for engaging in group sex back in 2002. At the time, the case was brought before the courts and uh, he was cleared of any wrongdoing and the sex was considered to have been consensual. Now on to world politics starting in Italy, where the Vatican has weighed in on the private life of Italy's Prime Minister, Silvio Berlusconi, who is uh, facing an embarrassing um, divorce battle and um, a high-ranking cardinal says that he should be setting a better example. Now to today's talking point, where the city of Moscow have banned a gay pride parade um, because it's taking place on the same day as um, the Eurovision contests. And the city is saying that um, this parade would destroy the moral um, fabric of society. So that's the news for today. Thanks for watching News Briefing, where you're in the know.